And if you have family coming to town, they need to prep for a wintry weekend in sight. Starting things off with today's forecast, we are still in the 50s this afternoon, so weather ball blinking green, and we have some snowfall chances in sight headed into tomorrow, but still looking at rain showers today. This is a look at our satellite and radar. These are very light and isolated in nature. You could grab the umbrella as you walk out the door. I think you'll be okay between now and about 4 p.m. And then after 4 o'clock, you wouldn't want to get caught out in the showers because they will pick up slightly in intensity. 42 degrees in Big Rapids, 44 in Grand Rapids, and 51 in South Haven. As we head throughout the next several hours, we'll top out at about 50 degrees and then headed into tomorrow, our winds shift to out of the north and west, ushering in an even cooler temperature profile. We're talking gusts at about 25 to 35 miles per hour, but because of the direction of that wind, temperatures take a tumble, only making it into the mid to upper 30s. So hour by hour forecast here shows we continue on with isolated rainfall today but then tomorrow really minor chances for light isolated snow in the forecast headed into your Tuesday morning. This is far from widespread. Maybe a dusting to a trace is expected to come from this. And then as we head into Tuesday afternoon, maybe a tenth of an inch being squeezed out from a very minor lake effect band, Macosta, Mount Calm in Nuego County. The rest of us underneath just dry and cloudy conditions. Again, we're in that gray stretch of weather. As we head into your Wednesday night, that's when we have the potential for another system moving through this time around for our southern counties. But notice once we see the change in our temperature profile from today into tomorrow, we consistently remain a very cool forecast in the 30s all the way extended into the weekend. And that cool temperature profile is going to support multiple days of lake effect snow beginning on overnight Thursday and into your Black Friday. So this is the system on Wednesday that I'm keeping a close eye on. I will say um, this is not 100% certain that we're going to see this little bit of a mix moving through 8 p.m. to let's say around 3 to 4 a.m. headed into your Thanksgiving. But because we're headed into a holiday and it's a high travel day, let's just lean on the side of yes, this could happen and we could see some very minor impacts on the roads Wednesday night and into early Thursday morning. But it's more Thursday night and into Friday that has my attention, especially for this southwest corner. That's going to include Kent County, Ottawa County, Allegan County, Barry County, Van Buren, and Kalamazoo, everywhere to the south of that, in these lake effect bands, with some of them showing up in our high or our, our broad models, right? Typically we only see these in high resolution models about 48 to 24 hours out. The fact that we're picking up on this on a global scale five days out is a sure sign that this is going to be a high impact event beginning Friday and continuing potentially into Sunday. Lakeshore boundary today though, nothing to worry about. Get your Thanksgiving grocery shopping done. We'll be quiet, just beyond a few nuisance showers in the forecast between now and nine o'clock tonight. The rest of your 13 on your side, seven day outlook. I've highlighted just Friday in red to, you know, give you that heads up of, hey, this could be a high impact day on Friday. We potentially will extend that into the weekend as well. We'll start with just Friday and take it day by day. The 13 Weather Ball is sponsored by LaFontaine Lincoln Grand Rapids. Sounds good, Sam. Thank you. Many from the